60% of people are unaware of their situations. And by the looks of your faces, I think you are part of that. I'm talking about thyroids. Estimated 20 million people go undiagnosed a year. But you may be asking yourself, what is a thyroid? A thyroid is underneath your Adam's apple at the base of your neck. This secretes hormones such as that helps with metabolism, growth and development, and body types. To every up and down of a disease, there's hyper and hypo. But every disease can't be cured, right? But hyper and hypo, they can be treated. To start off at the top, there's hyper. Hyperthyroidism is when the thyroid is secreting too much hormones into the bloodstream. This can be seen as stress. Symptoms include weight loss, rapid heartbeat, nervousness, irritability, anxiety, increased perspiration, and increased appetite. But wait, there's more. It can be seen as muscle weakness and fatigueness. According to familydoc.org, Seventy percent of hyperthyroidism is caused by the disease called Graves. Graves, the antibodies aggravate the thyroid, which causes this to produce too much hormone and being secreted into the bloodstream. Another one would be hyperfunctioning thyroid. This is when the thyroid is just producing too much hormone. And as well as thyroiditis. This is an infection in the system and it makes it to where there's just too much hormone being produced. To every up, there's a down. And by the down, I'm talking hypo. Hypo is when there's not enough hormone being secreted into the bloodstream. These can be seen as, the symptoms for hypo can be seen as fatigue, constipation, dry skin, puffy face, thinning hair, slow heart rate, and depression rate. According to medicalnews.org, Hashimoto disease is, is seen as a straight up cause. This is when it attacks the cells. Another symptom could be seen as thyroiditis, and which is the inflammation such as, which causes hyper. Another one is congenital disease. This is when the thyroid wasn't working since birth. So you might be asking yourself, why is this important? Well, if you look into the audience, you will see at least one person has a condition. I was lucky enough to get diagnosed with hyper hypothyroidism. And that's when not enough blood hormone is being secreted into the bloodstream. I remember when I was little, around the age of 10, going to the constant doctor visits to get blood to be seen. I was too young for the treatments. Hyperfunctioning thyroid, there can be three main things. Radioactive iodine treatment, this is when you consume iodine in this used to destroy the extra tissue. Then there's antithyroid, and then there is surgery. Surgery is the last possible way of getting rid of, well, helping with your thyroid. To help with hypo, there's no such luck. Because how are you going to try to help an already dead thyroid, basically? Doctors will try to give you the hormone levothyroin, which helps put T4 and T3 back into your blood, thyroid which is where the pituitary gland is spitting the hormone back. As to recap what we learned during this speech, you learned what is hyperthyroidism and what is hypo, as well as what could be the treatments of this. And I hope that you take this very seriously and ask your doctor, because I do not want any of you to be one of the, be part of the 60% of people that are unaware of their situation according to American Thyroid Association.